Prakata Yahawa, Prakata Yahawa Shai, Prakata Yahawa, Prakata Yahawa Shai, Prakata Yahawa, Prakata Yahawa Shai, Kohalayan La Abanawa Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Racha Hakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this 100% truth according to the Holy Scriptures. Peace, love, and salutations to the whole full elect, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. It's Brother Zariah Allah uh, coming back with you with another lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has commanded to do so in these latter days. Okay, prophesying the downfall of America, aka Babylon the Great. All right, and you know, leading you, brothers, you know, with the exhortation of these videos. And Lord willing, they're edifying. So I'm gonna get right into it. Um, this is Revelations uh, chapter 6, and I'm going to start at verse 9, and it reads, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. All right? And what are we doing, man? We are, we're, we're holding the testimony of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Why? It's because of the things that is coming to pass. All right? The, uh, the karagma. All right? The famine. All right, the pestilence, the destruction. Okay, Jacob's trouble. Okay, those are the things uh, that are coming to pass, all right? And we are going to be a living testimony, Lord willing, you know, to be a witness to say, like, look, this this is what happened, all right? In verse 10, it says, And they cry with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord? Right, because we're going to be crying out to the Lord. How about Shimei Shai? Okay, just like we do constantly day in and day out, man. All right, especially on the uh, weekends when the brothers are camping. All right. So I'm going to read it again. It says, and they cried with a loud voice saying, how long, O Yahweh, holy and true. Right. Because our Lord is holy and true. It says, do as thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth. OK, so how long um, is, is, is Babylon going to continue to get away with their wickedness, man? How long are these devils going to be in subject? Uh, not in subjection, Salakia. How long are these devils going to be in charge, man, ruling over us, man, our oppressors, man? How long are they going to constantly be killing our people, man, and getting away with it, man? How long are these heathens are going to be, you know, a, a part of the whole, you know, system and, and got us in subjection as well, man? How long, man? So this is what the Lord uh, is, 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 is inquiring of us, man, because what we're doing, we're, we're constantly crying out to the Lord. So... At the end of the day, we were we were put here for a purpose, man. That was to serve our judgment, man. And our judgment time is 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 about to be put to an end. Okay. So with that being said, we're crying out to the Lord. How long, man? All right. So let's go to Luke. All right. Let's go to Luke chapter eight. I mean chapter eighteen and verse seven. And it says, "And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect?" which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them, right? Because our Lord is long-suffering, man. Patience, all right? Because when you go into the word patience, it means long-suffering, okay? The Lord is long-suffering, uh, merciful, okay? The, these heathens and, and, and Esau, Edom, they had their time, you know, to rule, and look what they done with this place, man. All right, and this is why this damn devil got to be put under subjection, man. That's why this damn devil got to go, all right? And these other nations need to be put in order. All right, because if you look at this place, man, it's, it's, it's filled with wickedness, man. All right, you got the whole uh, abortion thing. You got the transformer thing going on. You, it's, it's so much wickedness, man. And the, and the minds of these people are, are, are through, man. And it's truly, it truly is vexing, all right? Even to hear the conversations that these people have and to think the things that they can imagine and, and think that is possible, and it's not, all right? It is truly wicked, all right? So with that being said, the Lord is bearing along with us. Okay, and we're crying out to him day and night. All right, verse eight, it says, I tell you, all right, and remember, this is in red. So this is Yahweh Shai himself speaking. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? All right, because when the son of man comes, he's going to come with clouds, man, via those chariots, which people so-called the UFOs. All right, so when the Lord come back with, you know, with that great power, all right, with the angels, especially Michael, the archangel, all right, he's going to be coming back destroying this place, man, all right, via those nuclear missiles, all right, that nuclear fire, all right, so the Lord is saying, it's like, shall he find, uh, find faith on the earth, because the things that's going to be happening when he comes, this place is already going to be through, it just needs to be burnt up, all right, so what's going to be going on in those times, all right, now let's go to uh, Second Edges, all right, chapter 6, 
okay? And this is why these times are going to be so heavy. And, and how can you find, you know, faith on the earth when the things are that are going on? All right, people lose faith when it's mass shootings. All right, people lose faith when, uh, when nothing is going their way. All right, so imagine how much more there's not going to be faith uh, here, all right, if you're not one of the elect. Okay, because if you're one of the elect, it says that wisdom and stability shall be the strength of thy times, man. Because if you got that wisdom, you're going to have faith in the Lord, you know, to redeem you, all right, to, to keep you safe, all right. Um, this is 2nd Edges chapter 6 and verse 22. It says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, right? The places where you, uh, uh, so farmers, all right? So the farmers, I know you, uh, Brother seen it on the news how, how this man was going into about, well, I was watching the Glenn Beck video and he was going into how this farmer, uh, right? And he was saying that we're we're eating on uh last year's crops, all right? We're running out of, you know, food, okay? We're not even in this year's crops, all right? So those are the places you, you, you sow your crops, all right? So those places are going to be up here unsung, okay? It says, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, right? So where they're storing all those goods, you know, for the farmlands into those storehouses, right? And they get this, uh, the food from the storehouses and then they put it on the shelves in the grocery stores, man. So it says, the storehouses shall be empty, all right? If the storehouses are empty, empty, what do you think? The damn grocery store, Walmart, all right, your Aldi's, Save-A-Lot, you know, all these different grocery stores, how do you think those uh those shelves are gonna be they're gonna be empty as well, all right. So when people ain't got no food in they in in their house, man, you think they're gonna have faith? You think that they're gonna be praying to the Lord? No, they're gonna be taking matter into their own hands, all right. And they're gonna be killing, robbing people, and, and things of that nature. They're gonna be turning on each other, all right. This is verse twenty three. It says, "And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear, they shall suddenly be afraid, man, all right." And that and that sound. Okay, that sound is the sound of what? The sound of, of Jacob's trouble, all right? It's the sound of danger, all right? Because when it, when the things are going on, these warnings, all right? I know you hear about the, you know, the Amber Alert, all right? So just imagine it's a, it's a sound like that, like an Amber Alert going off, right? All right? And, and just imagine a, 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 a huge purge of killing, man, because there's no food and things of that nature, all right? It's going to be cannibalism, all right? A lot of women are going to be forsaking their children, eating their babies, all right? And you get that account in First Kings, I believe, the 8th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but continuing on, this is verse 24. It says, And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. All right, so you got these damn jakes. You know, saying, so, oh, that's my brother. I never change on him. But if it ain't no food in your house and it's food in his house, we're going to see, you know, how, how close the homies y'all are, man. All right, we're going to see how... How uh how wicked you niggas can get, man, and how quick you will turn on your people, man. All right, which they already doing nowadays, man, killing people over a pair of Jordans and things of that nature. But you know, continuing on, it says at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear, man. So this is the whole earth, the whole inhabitant of the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. It says the springs of fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run, man. All right. It says, verse 25, whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. Right. And whose world is it? It's Esau's world. OK. Uh, second edges uh, six and nine. All right. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the uh, beginning that follow it. All right. So with that being said, the ones who shall remain and escape all this, you know, death, famine, pestilence, you know, these troublous times, those are going to be a lick. OK, and the Lord is going to avenge uh, his elect me uh, via um, those nuclear missiles, which I'm going to go right into that. Um, but, yeah, continuing on. Uh, all, all the wickedness that Esau Edom has, has done to us, you know, that perpetual hatred that he had and the nations, how they took, a, you know, a, a, a part of it, too. They're going to get it. All right. So this is um, this is Isaiah chapter 34. Mm, let's see. I start at verse uh, one. It says, "Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all the things that are come forth of it." Right. So these things are going to come forth. All right. Verse two. It says, "For the indignation of the Lord." Right. Indignation means righteous anger. All right. Of the Lord is upon all nations, and His fury is upon all their armies. 
He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter, man. All right. It says their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up, shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with blood. All right. It says verse four and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the union and as a falling fig tr fig from the fig tree. All right. Verse five. This is the point. It says, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. All right. You know, when Christians read this, they think, oh, man, a, a, a sword in heaven. And, and, and you know, the, the, the devil, he, he, he was cast down here in the world and he's in the underworld. No, that's not what that's talking about. All right. It says, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. All right. Meaning the skies. All right. Those are those uh, those laser beams. All right. The, the missiles and everything that's coming out of the uh, the chariots. All right. And the, and the nuclear warheads. It says, behold, it shall come upon it shall come down upon Idumia, right, which is Esau Edom. Idumia is a Greek word of saying Edom, all right? It says, upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment, all right? The Yahweh Shapat, man, all right? It says, verse 6, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and with the fat of kidneys of rams, all right? So that's parabolical of how much uh, death and how many people are going to be destroyed, you know, with, uh, with the Lord's sword, man. All right. It says, for the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter is in the land of all I do me. OK, so what do you do before a sacrifice, man? You kill a, a goat, a lamb, all right, a ram, right? You, you kill it, right? And then what? You, you set it on fire. So that's what the Lord is going to do. To the land of Idumia, man. He's gonna slaughter all these damn nations. He's gonna slaughter Esau Edom, the third part of man. All right. They're all gonna be wiped out. And then what? He's gonna burn this mother effer up. <laughs> okay. And it is gonna be a, a sacrifice in Basra. All right. Because Basra is a chief place of Edom. All right. And where is Edom dwelling? Edom is dwelling in America. So that meaning America is Basra. Okay. Because that is the chief place where the esau where esau edom is dwelling now all right the uh, revival of the roman empire okay this is the land of idumia all right and this is their not their land this is the land that they stole but this is the land where they're dwelling in all right so with that being said all right the lord is going to avenge his elect man all right with those nuclear missiles with those chariots all right because the lord said he would not meet thee as a man okay and he's coming back in that angelic you know power He's going, man, he's, he's going to slain a lot of damn people in that day, man. And Lord willing, I get to see that. I get to be a part of the lick and see it, man. Where he kill all these damn devils, man, and, and, and beam up his elect in those chariots, man. And Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. And, you know, Lord willing be a, a, a part of, you know, taking this damn devil down. All right. So with that being said, um, the elect will, all right, be avenged. All right. The Lord will avec, uh, avenge his elect. All right. So with that being said, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutation to the hopeful. Let Kwam Yasharala Shalawam.